Hi, welcome. I'm Monique and this is Mondays with Monique where I share tips and tidbits that can be helpful for your mental and emotional well-being. I happen to be a fan of visualization. Visualization practices can help with relaxation, uh, coping, creativity, well-being. Today I'd like to share a visualization and guided imagery that's for creativity. It's called Design a Glass and if you'd like to pause the video for a second and run and get a um, uh, a glass, clear glass or container of some sort, I would invite you to do so. And then come back and we'll start. All right, so now everybody has a, a clear drinking container of some sort. So this visualization, um, I'm gonna be pausing a little bit throughout it to let your mind kind of wander and have a chance to design your glass. And this is gonna unleash your creative imagination as you explore shape, color, words, texture, and taste. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this. If you don't like the design of your glass, you can change it at any time and um, have fun with it. All right, so I invite you to take three deep breaths. Inhale, one, two, and three. And I invite you to continue this relaxed, easy breathing on you as you embark on this journey of creativity. You are going to design a drinking glass. Pick up your drinking glass and examine it. Examine it closely, its shape, its mass, how clear it is. Study the glass until you have it clearly in your mind. Notice how it catches the light, the shapes of the glass. Concentrate on the glass. Now close your eyes and recall the image of the glass. Now that the glass is in your mind, you are going to mold it as if it were soft, clear clay. You can stretch it vertically or horizontally. You can decorate it. You can pinch the middle in, give it a wider base, a fancy handle. whatever you wish. Move deliberately and carefully. Impose each new adjustment slowly. After each change, Re-examine your glass. If you don't like the result, try something new. Once you have designed the shape of your glass, you are ready to engrave something on its inner surface. The message should appear rough and cloudy, you could etch your name or someone else's name, a saying, a word, like coffee, tea, or any design or shape that you choose. After the glass has been engraved, study it until you feel that it is permanent.
Now fill your glass with liquid. Notice how the liquid colors the glass. If your glass is thicker in certain places, notice how that affects the color of the liquid. Now put a clear straw into the glass of liquid. Once the straw has settled, change its appearance. You can give it a color or two. It could be polka dotted or candy striped. You might even change its length, width, shape. Again, make sure that once you have decided on the design for your straw, that you study it long enough to give it permanence. Finally, if you choose, you may drink the liquid. Remember that you can adjust its taste and temperature. You may choose to have it cold or hot, sweet or bitter, tangy, carbonated, or anything else. Now think about how satisfying and thirst quenching the liquid is. And as you think about the liquid, you have completed the last step. It is now time for you to awaken and open your eyes to feel how refreshed your body is at this time, how relaxed, how peaceful you feel. And gently open your eyes So how was your glass design visualization experience? Did you immediately choose a design or did you make a lot of different changes, a lot of different adjustments? What factors influenced your decisions? You may want to describe your experience to a friend or a family member or in your journal and reflect on how it felt to be creative. Thank you so very much. I hope you enjoyed this week, this Monday with Monique, and I look forward to seeing you next Monday. Be well and take care.